Hi everybody, I'm Julia. Welcome to Julia Lives. Today I'm going to give you a three month review of these Nike Zoom Vapor Pro 2 court shoes. I use mine for pickleball, which I started about six months ago, but I'm a long time tennis player. So I had some skills to begin with. I do play both singles and doubles. And I also was playing quite a bit of singles when the heat was up into the nineties. So I know those courts were hot. I know those shoes were getting some wear and tear. I'll show you in just a minute how they look after wearing them for three months and playing almost every day. I paid $137.80 for these shoes from the Tennis Express. Shipping was included. These are a wide width. Just so you're aware, Nike doesn't make very many wide width shoes, but these they do, so I have a bit of a bunion issue on one side. However, these are not gigantic. I've also used Wilson shoes and New Balance, which also come in wide width, and I thought these were great. The sole was very cushioned. I felt like my foot was secure in the shoe. It did not slide around. And I like the bottom of the shoe for traction. I've never had any issues so far in using these. I will show you a little bit of a clip here of me playing. As I mentioned, I got started about six months ago. I'm a former tennis person, so you can probably tell with the backhand, two hands on one side, which a lot of pickleball people can't hit a backhand, I've noticed. I do have a little big back swing, and I feel like my weight transfer could be a little better on that forehand side. And I also could have probably come to the net, but this was just for demonstration. Now, I bought that outfit that I'm wearing off of Amazon. I always play terrible when I wear it, and the visor too. I love the visor, but the outfit, I've sworn off. Something about my play skills, it just doesn't it seemed to work for me. And I noticed too, the blacks have faded. One, the shirt is faded. So now they're two different colors. I don't really care for that either. I've been using these almost exclusively outdoors. So they are quite dirty from the outdoor use. But look at that tread. I'd say that's holding up beautifully. I'm playing five to seven days a week. I'm playing singles, doubles. There's a little bit of wear by the heel, but that's not bad at all. It's usually the outsole, like that area, that tends to start to get worn down on shoes for me. I don't see anything at all. It, they are a little bit dirty, like I said, so just forgive that. But really, overall, I'd say these are holding up great. I'm sure I'll get at least another maybe six months out of these shoes. I could see that for sure. I do find that sometimes the... The top part of the shoe gets a little stretched out, and that is usually the problem for me. But so far, they're great. You'll notice, too, that toe box for a wide shoe. I don't think that looks wide at all which is one thing I did like. They feel fine and they feel plenty roomy enough, but I like it that they don't look gigantic, like they don't look like clown shoes. By far, bar none, the best skirt that I found for wearability and comfort in playing is the Lululemon Pace Rival skirt. I absolutely love it. I have it in four different colors. I also have the extra long. I get the long. The extra long to me looked a little frumpy. I still wear it, but it's not as comfortable. I feel really good and confident in the long skirt. Now, the reason why I like it so well is this. See how it has that plastic? That keeps these shorts in place. And so those of you, if you're obviously wearing a skirt, know when those shorts ride up, it ends up like you're wearing a bikini on the court. It is not comfortable at all. I've tried Adidas, I've tried Nike, I've tried all sorts of brands. If they don't have that plastic, that rubber inner liner, it will not stay in place. I don't care what brand it is. If it's not there, it is riding up. So the Lululemon skirts are my go-to. I honestly will not buy anything else at this point because I've tried so many different things and those are always a reliable and consistent buy for me. Selkirk paddle here and a Franklin X ball. Now this is a good little activity, just bouncing the ball and turning the paddle. 
I wanted to show you this because some people in the reviews complained that their skirts were too wrinkly. This is right out of the package, and I just wanted to show you. It steams up great. I have no issue. It hasn't even been washed. And after washing it, I've never had to steam it once, so I don't agree that there's an issue getting the wrinkles out of these skirts. So uh, with this, then the, the other thing that I really do like about these skirts, here you go with the high-vis tank top, also from Lululemon, and the pattern skirt. I think that looks fine with those shoes. Now, I was going to tell you what I like about these skirts is that they're a little longer in the back, so you'll notice that here. It's, you know, a little bit shorter in the front, longer in the back. I just feel like that's a very flattering look. I never feel like I'm getting overly exposed in this skirt. I just, it's the most comfortable thing. This outfit, I wish I could love, but the shorts ride up, and it's just way too uncomfortable for me to be pulling those down all the time. 